Kan kan ambak. Kan ambak. Up the hips a little bit, guys. So from here, so we do this. Yeah, you try this. No, very cool. And then up and out. Just loosen the hips. So out and in and up and out and in and up and out. Yeah. Good boy. And back to egg beaters. Both sides. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, just working on the one final stages of the um classes today uh, of the uh, series day, which is the um stand up distance. Um, this is called a uh, foot on the hip guard, uh, foot or sitting foot on the hip. This was pretty popular a couple of years ago. The guys that started to do um, Del Heave and um, Andrews into single X and um, deep half and half guard. So just have a look at the uh, at the process behind this, and I'll show you how the setup is and what we're trying to get or what we're trying to achieve. So just standing with our partner, and um, the the easiest way that I know how to do this. Um, the easiest way I know how to set this up was um, if I'm controlling this arm, it's journey this foot that goes onto the hip. So this way there's minimal chance of them picking out my foot as I, as I sit. Um, as a general rule is if I'm sitting to guard or pulling to guard and yes buddy, yep, and if my Partner happens to capitalise on the foot. If I sit down to guard, if I sit, no, no, just, if I sit down to guard, Neo, can you move that way, please, buddy? Please. Thanks, buddy. So Emma doesn't do anything else. Is the wife sits guard? She's going to get two points because she was controlling my leg. So the principle behind this is: when I put sit guard, when I pull to guard, I want to make sure that she's not grabbing my leg. Good work, buddy. So from here, okay. Mommy, to give you my phone. Yeah. 
So, so what I'm trying to do is on the same side that I'm controlling the arm is the same side that my foot goes onto the hip which minimizes the ability for my partner to grab the leg and to accumulate the two points for the takedown. So it's a nice easy system. Um, we're going to grip with the left hand on the collar, right hand onto the sleeve. What I'm doing is I'm pulling the hand up so the right hand is pulling up and that allows my foot to go onto the hip. If you're not comfortable with it dropping to the guard, you can sit to the guard. I'll explain both of these differences as we go through. But what we're doing is uh, right hand onto the sleeve, left hand onto the collar, and it's break the grip. So I'm trying to pull the right hand up nice and high, which allows my foot to go onto the hip. Uh, this will be dictated a little bit by their footwork as well, which, which foot's forward, which foot's backwards. So um, it's not as simple as the right hand. It'll be what, what's the lead foot, um, and we're going to have a look at the distancing as well. So it, it's the distancing that, that will dictate uh, whether I do my double leg or my single leg or fade to guard or whatever like that. So, so we need to kind of cover all these bases. But today's emphasis is on the foot on the hip guard. So I'm just waiting on Emma to, uh, to come back in. So the distance is that we've already made contact with our partner. What I mean by that is that we've already tied up. And like I mentioned to you is, um, I don't want this loose, so what I'm doing is I'm actually going to give this a hard wrench and I'm pulling it up this way so that it's very hard for her to capitalize on my foot onto the hip. The two things I want to make sure is when I put my foot on the hip, I'm actually pushing her hip backwards. Right? So I'm actually, and I'm kind of stomping the hip, and that allows me to do what we call a pendulum. I want to explain it to you. So as I sit, I'm going to kind of hop, and your choice which way to do it. I, I, I'm, I'm going to hop to this side because she can't post. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go pop, 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 boom. And that allows me to get that momentum to sweep my partner over. So it, it allows me to get a really nice foot onto the hip to sweep. Um, hard to do it in, in the confined space that we have now, but I'll talk you through it again. So let's have Emma up here. We'll go slow motion. So we're in grabbing space, so we've actually closed the gap. We're in the distance where we're actually up, like making contact with each other. What I'm doing is, instead of me trying to push her away, I'm going to pull this out and create this huge space. So this gives me the ability to really stomp the hip, where if I'm here, I can't kind of get my leg up quite high. So I'm kind of going, and it also makes you think, like, am I going to change levels? Am I going to, you know, like, it keeps her guessing. So for me, it's massive. Wrench the arm backwards, step backwards. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stomp the hip. So as I say, I'm stomping the hip. Um, what I'm doing is I'm going to do two little hops towards Neo. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, this. So start again. So I get the grip onto the collar and I get a grip onto the sleeve. What I'm going to do from here is uh, I'm creating space by pulling the right hand. And what I'm doing is not pulling it down towards my leg, I don't want her to grab my leg. I'm pulling the hand up and I'm changing levels. This gives me the area where I can start to work to really stomp the hip. And as, I st as I'm stomping the hip, I'm taking a couple of little micro hops towards my right hand side, or the side that my, I'm controlling the arm, or the side that I'm on the hip. So it's like here, so it's bop, bop, bop. And now as I sit down, what my foot does, it enables me to keep that momentum going and sweep the leg. It's quite hard to see on the video, we don't have the space to but what I'm doing is this leg here hacks. So I'm just going to move it back towards the wall. Do you want me to No, it's okay. okay. So we sat down. So I've done the micro. And what I'm doing is as I'm pulling in, I collapse the frame and pull it in towards it. And this is like your Delahe boy, your outside hook guard. So from here. And because we've got the momentum, is I slowly lift. And when I'm lifting, I'm tipping my partner over. So I'm getting the two points for the sweep. Not necessarily take down. As long as I get back up on top, I've got control of my partner. So this is uh, the foot on the head, and this is the major, the major uh, variation that we have is the, the pendulum. We're not just sitting down. It puts me in a far better position to capitalise my opponents off balancing, and it gives me far more options than just pulling straight to guard and hoping to get closed guard or hoping to get an arm or hoping to get a triangle or something. So on the time bus. So starting rough over here. And we're going to pull the right hand out. So what I'm doing on this one is, and I'm kind of pulling it out and up. 
I'm stomping the hip and I'm, I'm kicking quite hard, or I'm not kicking, I'm pushing my partner quite hard. I'm going to go so. So what I'm doing is I'm going to hop. So as I'm doing, I'm going hop, 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 and I'm sitting. So as I sit from here, I land it, and this leg's out. So I've got like a big V going with my legs, right? Plus my right leg's really staunch on her hip. So she tries to drive forward, it's locked into position. What I'm doing is I'm going to collapse all my frames and put everything in at the same time, trap that leg. That's just a really easy sweep. Like it's, it's one of the easiest sweeps I know how to get from the standing position. Um, there, there's a couple of counter swords that drop in the hips down and all that, but as far as this goes, it's, it's really simple. So I'm just going to have a shot with me. And I'm going to talk you through it so we're going to go step by step. So Emma has control of the sleeve and the collar. Let's go walk this way. So what she's doing is, uh, to, to make this work, it's kind of like she's pretending to do a judo throw, so she's pulling this up like the judo throw. Right? And, and she could step on the inside to complete the judo throw, but we're not doing this. So what she does now, her right foot goes onto my hip, and what she's doing is, she's going to do a couple of micro hops and sits down. Stop. So she's got to keep this here. The whole concept now is, my weight is over this side. So Emma's going to slowly collapse frame and pull in. At the same time, rips my leg. So no, 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 no. So straight leg, like you're doing a scissor sweep. But bop, and now, bop, it turns me over to get on top. So we're not, we're actually just sweeping. We're not trying to get a hook. We're just doing like a scissor sweep with an elevation. The way I got taught this is, I try and do this a little bit easier. So Emma's uh, in my guard. Seven. So I've got the control here. So what I'm doing is, from the Della Heave or the outside hook is, I'm not trying to put my hook here, I'm keeping this on the outside. As I pull in, I cut. so this leg here pulls her in. So everything pulls in. And you can, also, you can already feel, so I'll pull in, I'm gonna go slow, but you can put your hands into my chest, you wanna balance. So, and what I do is I'm lifting. So that enables me to turn my partner. So from here, in, 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 you can counterbalance a little bit on my chest. So in, 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 hack the leg, so that turns the leg away. And my other foot balances, so, so all the weight comes over. So even if she's trying to counterbalance, this sweep's quite a good sweep from the stand up position from the outside, or from the arm, foot on the hip. So from here, Emma's just here. And she's on her back. So I'm going to counterbalance. So foot onto the hip, sleeve and key. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my weight down. So what she's doing is she's pulling everything in and leg goes outside. She hacks behind my knee. No, stop. Hacks behind my knee. Yes. Now, just make the sweep work. She's not kicking me up. She's taking me over this side. But she turns the hat yes to turn me over. Right? It's this more than that. Well, no, it's the elevator. You have to keep me high. Okay. So what we're going to do now is going to add the next part is your right foot elevates me. Which you already have anyway, because... You did naturally. So we're here, get to grip, and V's her legs so they're out. So synchronize everything comes in, comes in, comes in, stop. So what she's got is just with her right leg, She's going to slide lift me just to her right leg. Up. Her left leg changes the angle to turn me over. So your right leg is what lifts me. Your left leg is what hacks it out. So it's, it's quite an easy way to do it. Um, yep, so stand here. You okay? We need your key. So we have the right foot and we elevate our partner up and the left leg hacks and does the sweep. So we do this from the standing position. Uh, put books on the mat. Oh, Footprints. <laughs> so we do this from the standing position. So I'll just get Emma with the back against what's standing. Oh, yeah, I'm not. Look yeah. Not. yeah, you can just see your footprints where you've walked onto the mat. Yeah. And where do you think where the footprints are? Yeah. So my right hand so from here. Right. So what I'm doing is right hand goes high, right foot goes in, and I drop, 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 turn. So in this, so see how she counter steps. 
So it's nice to so from here, hack, and what I'm doing is I'm pulling forward. So everything comes forward and down. Everything comes forward and down. I'm gonna put all her weight onto my right leg, all the way onto my right leg to tip. Okay. So it's a nice, it's actually not a really good video for this. It's um, not really getting the angles or anything. So again, start from standing over here. Mommy! I'll do you next, okay? No, no. Next. So from here, grip and grip. I pull the right hand up and my right leg goes into the hip. I hop one, two, I sit and my left leg comes out wide. What I'm doing is I'm pulling everything in. So I pull in, Neo, <laughs> come here please buddy. Neo, come here please. <laughs> Sorry guys. So start again, guys. So we have the right hand. We get hold of the sleeve, and my left hand is hold of the collar. I'm pulling the right hand up, and I'm stepping back, which gives me the opportunity to stomp the hip. If I don't, if I pull down here, I can't stop the leg, and she can grab my leg. So it's really important from here is I'm up from here, I create distance. I'm stomping the hip, and what I'm doing is instead of sitting, I'm kind of pensioning off my right leg. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and I'll sit. As I sit, I'll pull everything in. So her momentum will boast into what she's doing now anyway. So I just properly, even that post, if I just use my right leg just to apply a little bit of pressure, I'm going to get the sweep regardless. Anyway, so I just get Emma to stand up. So I've ended up in this position here, and I've kind of counterbalanced a little bit. What I'm doing is I'm going to bring everything in towards me. So everything under my frame, and so what this does, it goes below, so it's more on the calf and the back of the knee, and less on the, on the hamstring. And what I'm doing is I'm pulling in. So, every, so it's kind of like my outside of my Della Heath, and what I'm doing is I'm putting all my weight, or all her weight, onto my right leg. So the right leg. So it's just the right leg. Right, up, and again. Sorry. So, the right leg, so the right leg, and that allows me to sweep my pun. So I elevate with my right leg, and my left leg hacks it out. Even if that post, it's really hard for her to stop the sweep because the way that you post is going over your shoulder, and it kind of is that one where you kind of go, oh, I feel my shoulder's going to get injured. So you're much better off actually just letting it go anyway. Um, so this was the number one. Uh, the way that I got taught, and, and uh, John Will taught this as a um, you know, foot on the hip pendulum. So it's more like we're putting our foot on the hip and we're penduluming around our partner to try and access it. The number two option is the pendulum when my partner posts out, gets a really wide base on the initial takedown. So when I pendulum, I can't get my delta head because her leg's too wide. But right? I'll explain as we go through. So. I try and go nice and slow so you guys can see. I know you can't see my head on the on the zoom, but from here, so Emma's here. My right hand from here, I pull up, step backwards, create a valley, foot goes on the hip, hop, 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 sit. But what she does, she just takes a big step with her right leg. So I'm trying to hack, but I can't hack anymore. Right? So it's very hard for me to break her frame and her structure. What I'm doing instead, because the right leg is, I simply come under and I cut. So I go from here, especially if she's trying to kill my guard, I just cut. All I'm doing now is I'm going to hold the ankle and I'm going to kick from here. Now, she might counterbalance. That's cool, but now it puts me in a position where I can go back to my Dell Heath. If she can't counterbalance, I'm simply going to kick, disengage, come up. 
Right, it's really hard because that leg's caught under. So when you finish, you're kind of ending up here. So I'm going to disengage and come back. So I'm on top of her leg, and it's harder for her to get up. I've got a secret weapon to my advantage as well. It's this. So if I go pinned to the ground, and she tries to get up, Help. I can really take my time Help. to get up from there. So I've pinned it down. It's quite hard for my partner to get up. So it's a nice easy way to pin it. So the pin and the back step. I'm going to go to option number two, guys. And this is off the pendulum and it's off the leg grab. So Emma's going to do it to me nice and slow. And I'll talk you through it. So we have, oh, oh it's step through. I know you guys can't see on the zoom. So we have our grip from here. Emma grips, Emma grips. Okay, so uh, controls, steps backwards, pulls my arm, put onto the hip. Bom, 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 so as she sits, I'm just taking a wide step. So you understand like I'm taking a wide step, so I'm stopping the del heave. So she puts a hook. Let's go, grabs my cable. Nice. So from here, as, as I'm putting my weight down to pass, she's going to slowly kick with this butt. If you guys hold my arm, you're not going to be able to swim because you're holding me in position. So what you're doing is, as you're kicking, you're kind of coming up and using that. Disengage, pin my hand, yeah, come up. So you're definitely going to be in a far better position than me. Um, from Emma's point of view, keep the arm pinned across the body. This allows you to chase my back and it's really hard for me to stop. So I'd pin the arm here so you get access to the back from here really easy. So that's option two. This is if the partner's a little bit more savvy on the takedown and they read the, the foot on the hip. Uh, it just makes it easier for, uh, for the person on the bottom to kind of go, okay, I can't go outside hook, I'll go to the foot and bicep. Oh, sorry, the hand on the ankle, and then we're going to go foot and bicep. Okay, so we'll do this one more time. So Emma's up. So she controls my right arm, controls the gi, we're nice and low, pulls my arm up high, creates space, stomps the hip, pendulum, pendulum, pendulum. I read it so she sits down, it'll help you. But I control and I'm stepping to pass the guard. So she puts a hook in, excellent. Rolls to the side, grabs my ankle, excellent. So got the control from here. Right. Now, what this does, right, this simply stops me from stepping backwards. Right. I, I will cover this a little bit later, okay, in a couple of minutes. Yeah, uh, it doesn't matter, I'm trying to push it down, so um, it can't go any further than that, so it doesn't matter. So as you kick, you're coming up, and you're pinning, and you're pinning. Yeah. Beautiful. And then, just so you guys know, like I'm not going to sit, I'm going to try and roll. <laughs> but, so you've got to make sure that when you're in Emma's position, if I roll, and I come up on top, <laughs> I get the points. So there's not much point, um, come back up. So there's not much point trying to take the back or whatever like that unless you've, you know, well, unless you consolidate your position and your base. Because your hands are crossed over, so you don't have a post either because you've crossed your hands over. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't chase the back back, I'd go to kind of side back, get your two points, and then look at upgrading to possibly a mount or something. I wouldn't necessarily chase the back from there because all I do is I roll. And I'm going to get my two points because you're technically still in my yeah, guard. Oh, well, just roll. roll. Yeah, how do you get out of that? Just roll. <laughs> my famous escape. Roll. roll. Okay. This is the next one, guys. Um, I'm going to shortcut the system a little bit. So Emma's inside my guard and I, she's standing. I've got the control. So I've done the pendulum takedown. I have the control. I have the control from here. And Emma's taking a, a wide step with her right leg again. And what happens this time is her leg's too far back for me to grab. So I'm gonna go foot in bicep. So I bring my foot into the bicep, control. Really easy. Raise my hips, disengage, and arm bar or triangle. So again, so in the position that I've got the takedown, but Emma's foot's come backwards a little bit. So it's too far. So my foot here comes on the inside. And she can hold the key pads if she wants to. It doesn't make any 
The job is, if I throw my triangle up now, the distance from my hips to her head is too far. So what I'm doing is I'm raising my hips. So this traps the elbow in. One, two, and I'm happy. Right, rolls, squeeze to change the ankle. So again, if I'm in the position that where he had, she's got control and her leg's too far backwards. Okay, I bring my foot on the inside and I can help to break the grip. I don't go to the triangle yet. I raise my head. What I do is I go armbar. Uh, like, is it like that here? And all I'm doing is the arms are fully, and I simply roll it here. As she rescues, then we have a look at our platters. But I just want to keep this really simple for the triangle of the armbar. I don't move too far down the rabbit hole. Swap position, mate. Right? I don't stand in that low squat position. It's hard on the hips, eh? So she has from here, foot in the bicep, has the arm and has the sleeve. From here. Yep. <laughs> Got it? So while I step backwards, so she brings her foot in and controls it. The key factor on this one, let me explain is if you bring your foot, if you keep your foot backwards, so bring your foot over your head. Yeah. So I'm in range. Now pull my arm and raise your hips. Nice. So I can't get away. So as I try and bring this over, shoot your foot straight over my shoulder. I'm on a rescue. And here's your arm bar or your triangle. And again. So from here, foot into the hip, control, control. Yep. So we're here, and my foot's too far back. So yeah. foot goes into the bicep. Hey, buddy! <laughs> hey. Watch this, Bane. Sit up here. Watch this. It's super exciting. Watch this, Bane. Right? You missing leg? You fell the leg when you're in? No, I did. That's in the floor. Look at it. I know. Did I show you? Yeah, yeah. So from here, as I'm passing the guard, foot goes on the inside to the bicep. And if you kick backwards, this enables me to be able to block it. So you're taking your foot high. Got it. Nice and cruisy. As I'm going to fight, you pull my arm, raise your hips. Beautiful. So into meet and greet. I defend. And your choice is the arm bar or triangle. Nice and simple. And again. Okay, for two seconds, buddy. Can you help me? Yeah. Okay, go I know. No, no, two minutes, buddy. Two minutes and again. And again, so we're here. So we're in the position, so it has the hand, uh, the hand, the foot from here, and I step up. She brings her foot in on the inside of the bicep. Now, remember, if she kicks backwards, I win this fight. So, so think about this way, bring your toes, no, no, just bring your toes over your head. Yeah, oh, yeah just bring your toes over your head. Okay, from here, I'm going to try and fight it. So your foot goes over my shoulder. And this is how I is pull the arm. So as I go to defend it. Okay. So I just do the system just from the start so we understand. And it's, it's basically one, two, and three. Really easy. One, two, and three. Okay, can you count to one, two, three for me, Nia? One, two, three. Oh, cool. Can you sit here and count? Okay, so Emma's inside my guard. Uh, sorry, standing. I. Yeah, you're going to count to one, two, three for me? Yes, but let me just do this with mommy, then she gets it. Yeah, well, well just let me do this, baby. Lovely manners. Oh, you've you know. got great manners. I promise I'll get it for you in two minutes. If you count right now, you have to wait a okay. minute. So from, okay, sorry guys. Come on, quick. Quick, quick. Sorry, two seconds, guys. <clears throat> so from here we have our controls. From here, I know you can't see ahead on the zoom, but I pull the right hand, right foot, hip, hip, hip. Sit number one is I keep the momentum going and I pull in and kick. Number two, she steps with her right leg, but close to me. 
Okay, so I swing, I've got the ankle from here, and I'm kicking to do my sweep. Number three I'm is that her right leg goes so. backwards, but it's too far for me to grab. So. so I bring my foot on the inside, and I'll crack the grip. Go to here. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so from here, can you just move her a little bit close back? Oh, that's fantastic, paradigm. That's kind of fun. So if I bring my foot backwards here, and I can use the weightless variation in the hand and push my calf forward to pass my guard. So what I'm trying to do for me is I'm trying to bring her forwards. But really, so what I'm trying to do is, is I turn my heel higher than my toes. My toes high, she wins this fight. Heel high, I win this fight. Really straight, yes, yeah, so that's perfect. So she'll put her arm into the position that I want anyway. So think about this way is toes high, she can swing under and escape. Got it. Okay. And I go heel high. Sorry, that was, what, what was that shot? So heel high, puts me, and this kind of feels like a bad position because she feels it. But once I raise my hips, everything's in the perfect position. She'll defend normally by grabbing her arm. I oh, can do that short sweep. <laughs> so, kick and finish. She does the way that Emma did. So, hands here. We simply start to attack the Kimura. Um, so, I just want to keep everything pretty simple. So, it's just one, two, three. So, from the pendulum, uh, from the takedown, it's number one is the, the pendulum sweep, which we take them over. Number two is the ankle grab. Number three is the triangle. I just try and redo this just one more time, guys, while the, the kids aren't here, so we can try and get some uh, consecutive training here. Mm -hmm. So from here, it's the grip. So the first thing first is I break my uh, partner's posture and poise and create a workable space. I break my partner's posture and poise, so I've got a workable space where I can step in. My toes are on the outside, don't have your toes forward. On the outside, this allows me to kick and spin. So one, two, three. Slow set, form from here. Everything comes in, 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 in. Trap, and again, in, 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 trap. Her weight goes onto my right foot, my right foot elevates, nice and slight, and I have the ability to sweep her. This time, she opens up her right leg a fraction, and I'm gonna let go, grab, and I'm not gonna hold it because it's counterproductive, I'm just trapping her, right? So from here is, I kick, 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 I transfer the arm to here to get my sweep. We're just gonna do the sweep slowly, bop. She comes back up, steps wide with her right leg, boom. So I put my hook in first, right? So the hook stabilizes, so she tries to step backwards out of it any time, and I can do, create space, foot comes on the inside, and I'll break the grip, heel high, pull forward. So everything's in the nice position from here. Okay, hips high, spin, and arm bar and triangle. So it's a system one, two, and three, from putting the foot on the hip guard. This is just one, just one of the 10 or 15 systems that we have for the foot on the hip guard. Um, this goes mainly to the Della Heap, uh, the Della Heap guard, um, which was kind of like, like pretty good for the guys that were um, starting to get a little bit more flexible with their knees and elevating and all that. So that, that's a pretty cool little system um, to, to get into that position from standing. On, uh, I'm going to cover the last one. I'm going to put these together, which we're going to go to a, uh, um, a gear grab, to a shoot, to a uh, foot and hip, and combo all this together, guys. So kind of have a flow chart, what to do. Um, and I'll try and write something up for you guys as well about, about my, uh, my thought pattern from the stand. Um, and I'll give you guys a, like a little bit of a story behind it so you guys actually understand when we're standing and when we're standing grabbing, what the, the distance and what the distances mean. Right? It, it, it's the wrestling, the judo, and the BJJ all have amazing stuff, but they all have like no wrestling, no backs on the ground. Judo can't attack, so can't attack the legs, etc. BJJ is kind of a pretty good one, and BJ is lazy um, because if you fall onto your back, it doesn't really matter. So I, I just put some thoughts together for you guys about um, when I grapple about where I want to be, um, regardless of whether people kind of frown upon guard pulling or whatever, you know at the Worlds and at the Pan Kids and all the major tournaments, the person that normally pulls the guard first and gets control guard and wins the fight. Right? So it, it's, we're watching it like there was eight mats running and it well, was, sorry, 10 mats running at one time, nine people pulled guard, basically simultaneously, like, like it was crazy. 
um, especially that a bit more of the higher level, the purples, browns, and blacks. Uh, it's just crazy to see. So you want to have a really good guard pull. On the same instance, you want to have a really good guard pull defense, which we start to have a look at as well. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Once again, uh, sorry for the interruptions with the kids. It's just uh, hard to do this at home. It's their bedtime and their dinner time. Um, we just got to make do with the best that we can in the, in the situation that we have. Hopefully, we'll be back into the gym, uh, you know, within the next couple of months. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Okay, one, two, three. Thank you. Thanks, babe.